yes uh, today i'll start with uh, visiting card design okay yeah. uh, visiting card or uh, business card both are same okay yeah. uh, so this is the first uh, starting page so from here uh, create a new okay uh, then go to print option from print option give the dimensions suppose for the standard uh, business card size 3.5 inches by 2 inches okay and because it is for printing na so we are giving 300 resolution and for printing we use cmyk color okay and give the name here uh, business card business card or visiting card both the same okay then create yeah i created this page <coughs> so here the take the print size so this is actual visiting card uh, size uh, okay uh, for visiting card actually uh, the four sides equally uh, we maintain some space extra space uh, for the trimming okay after designing the card after printing that so printer he'll cut the uh, cards okay so this is called what uh, bleeding area so bleed four sides so uh, four corners so he'll bleed he'll cut the areas okay for that uh, we add some extra space suppose take canvas size okay so already we maintained 3.5 for 3.5 we add uh, 0.5 so it can be 4 here already 2 is there we add 0.5 and it is can be 2.5 then give okay <coughs> so here i'll try to use some other color because in white uh, it is not showing okay <coughs> here i'm giving again ha uh, canvas size from the canvas size here i give again so 4 and 2.5 uh, 2.5 then it is okay yes the this is the gray color is uh, given extra space actually this is not coming into printer uh, so this white area only printable then next uh, we maintain some space just few mm it can be for the all the uh, vertical and the horizontal some space we can maintain it can be like uh, safe area so <coughs> the safe area can protect your design okay so within the safe area only we in design okay so this is the uh, second uh, uh, the rule the first rule is we have to maintain the four sides some extra space for printing and the second we are maintaining this roller so for safe for safetyness and this is the white area is the design area within this area actually we design okay uh, for that what you do take any uh, logo suppose for logos uh, we use actually a logo design we have to design our own logo so okay <coughs> that i'll teach you later in institute uh, because uh we have to create uh, your own logo okay uh, and that logo uh, the same logo we use in design also uh, business card design for timing already the ready made uh, logo is there i am dragging that into uh, file <coughs> suppose here i am using this so take file just open desktop and there is a kids toy store <coughs> yeah and this is the logo okay for this logo we are we are trying to prepare a uh, business card <coughs> uh, then what i am trying to do 
first of all, remove this background because it is a plain white background it is very easy to remove how we remove there are other tools are there but other tools are there but here the easiest uh, the method we use is here there is a magic vent tool with magic vent tool simply click and delete the background deleted then control D <coughs> then drag this logo into your business card area so it can be very big and then control T control T means transforming so so you can transform your size so you can align it anyway so it can be uh, left alignment sometimes we can use the right alignment center okay and uh, now here I'm using uh, left alignment kids toy store okay uh, then give the tick mark and make it bit bigger shaped yes <coughs> yeah under this type the actual uh, the name of the store okay the font is very big already it is so maintain some font uh, uh, text suppose uh, I'm taking here 18 yeah uh, kids toy store suppose K I D Z kids toy store so for the toy store I'm using another uh, font uh, <coughs> say it is as uh, some Arial okay kids toy store T O Y toy store S T O R E toy store okay <coughs> now we get center and uh, caps suppose shape to toy store toy store okay this can be bit smaller bit smaller so make it as a 14 point yes this is okay good and try to change the color also suppose kids toy store yeah this is good this is a purple color you can use this yes then make it bit smaller again so yes <coughs> yes okay yes now yes now uh, give information some information means here uh, executive name suppose executive name here I'm giving <coughs> something uh, text uh, so it is as so instead of black is a normal make it normal uh, is um, result normal narrow regular yes <coughs> so text will be 10 and here what I'm doing give some name is key to name uh, suppose uh, Suresh Suresh S H Suresh Um, MBA suppose is qualification make it bit smaller MBA okay. yeah suppose this is in uh, central element so we we'll take it as a left alignment and uh, yeah take the right alignment yes <coughs> yes now Suresh MBA and here give uh, more some information suppose contact detail 
Sivo. PH number phone number <coughs> phone number suppose yeah gives anything suppose nine four nine two zero six one zero five zero okay insight is okay because <coughs> the contact details then here some more other details give some address contents suppose um, 240 by 8 240 by 8 <coughs> S R N A G A R SR Nagar Hyderabad Yes <coughs> Yes Okay So now Select all these Here uh, we have some Alignment options are there Just give this Alignments <coughs> yes okay now select all these layers by ship to only this yes yes to 40 by C <coughs> phone number yes can move because we want the left element rather way select all these select all these and uh, use these options again yes it's already in a uh, right element okay <coughs> suppose this is the uh, visiting guard and uh, go for the uh, color options suppose uh, we used already here the purple color and here take the red color from this for this Suresh suppose Suresh means here he is a suppose a director yeah, director D I R E C T O R director and you <coughs> yeah director take this and here make <coughs> text more smaller yes director then what I'm doing change this color suppose I'll take uh, this red color first with the uh, eyedropper tool. Click I for the shortcut of the eyedropper tool. Click I. It is already added into this box. So now with the uh, text tool, select this <coughs> and apply the same color to Suresh. It is added. <coughs> okay. Uh, then phone number and other details. So I'm using the same color for the phone number because I want to highlight this because it is a phone number I use the same color <coughs> and here maintain some gap yeah this uh, yes here maintain uh, some care make it a uh, down arrow it is coming down <coughs> yeah okay and for the uh, address details for ad address details 
uh, go with black black and give some mail ID also mail ID if there is any website uh, you can use the website also suppose uh, I'm giving mail ID <coughs> so I D E A Z ideas I D E A Z ideas U L T D the rate of G mail dot com gmail.com <coughs> okay uh, for the alignment click these two layers so uh, mail ID and uh, the address and click on the alignment so here the alignment options are there automatically it is coming into the way proper way okay then here <coughs> if you want to design uh, the background color also you can make it suppose for that or on this give any uh, some uh, color strokes or whatever the texture if you want to give you suppose here I'm trying to do something uh, because of the white background generally uh, most cases visiting cards in plain white only very rarely in the use colors generally most of the clients most of the uh, persons they like only uh, white background okay uh, for the simplicity of the color but their demand we use sometimes some uh, specific colors also okay anyway here I'm trying to give one uh, stroke kind of so here what I'm giving from there to here I'm giving one stroke so click with the pen tool there another drop here and here and here and close yes closed because of the pen tool I use in afters bar there is a fill and outline here I use <coughs> fill because I want some lighter uh, some gray color suppose I'm trying to use this yeah gray color uh, more gray I want suppose this at this you can try it I think this is okay okay but here it is covered because <coughs> your gray color is there your text is here okay under the gray color your text covered so that reason you drag down these you drag down these yes see now now what you do <coughs> uh, with this and direct selection tool you can change this line curviness suppose yeah yes exactly yes now what I'm doing I'm removing the uh, outline red so I don't want this outline simply go and click on this red gone Open. <coughs> okay yes <coughs> this is the uh, card suppose here the background is there this white uh, so background white background and uh, behind this there is a uh, gray color so both the gray colors are same so that's the reason what I'm giving I'll try to change this color more lighter yes because it is mixing with the uh, that color okay now let's change this okay suppose yes this is one <coughs> this is our uh, this thing so it is going outside of the uh, print area so it is not anyway it is not coming into print <coughs> if you don't want that also you can cut it anyway suppose uh, with this select on the shape layer and here just you give the a cut on that the close
okay and go to up area yes and then just delete that because it is not going to delete because it is in shape layer so what you do <coughs> simply uh, click on the layer right click on the layer and make a rasterized layer so it is rasterized now delete so it is deleted the same way here control D deselect here again give selection and zoom this zoom this and just select this properly and delete so delete control D <coughs> deleted okay so again here the other side again I'll take this deleted control D now we can give some right arrow because I want to cover this I want to cover this good okay suppose now uh, the text so or address address text select that layer and all the text suppose all the text by shift select those layers and make just bit right and make bit top exactly okay so this is good <coughs> now uh, this is the card simple uh, the basic visiting card in the letter uh, later onwards in the coming classes really we use our your own uh, logos we have to create our own logo actually after creating your own logo so over on that again we'll make your actual personal uh, business cards for time being uh, we are using this uh, card okay so on paper we have to create we have to sketch your logos whatever the logo you like you can create then the same thing we can trace it and finally the same uh, logo we use in um, Photoshop okay so that's it uh, you also practice the same first to take the measurements 3.5 by 2 inches so and make the CMYK uh, your uh, resolution must be 300 resolution <coughs> within the dimensions uh, we use some extra space 0.5 space for the uh, print extra options we use you know, that, that is for uh, trim area okay within that uh, some extra uh, space we use this is uh, for the safe area for safe guidelines we use so your text whatever you design your design this logo design and your uh, the main text should not cross these lines so because if you cross these lines what will happen so it is very close to uh, printer suppose the cutting marks so if it is coming to uh, cutting marks now automatically it may cut okay so that is the reason we maintain some space four sides so within that only uh, we make the final design okay so this is the simple uh, the basic the visiting card so in coming class definitely we use uh, the same business card with your own logo okay thank you keep practice